Hello and welcome to Real to Real, coming to you today from St. Michael's Academy in Springfield. This diocesan elementary school was established just over 10 years ago. Over the past decade, it has not always been easy as the school survived a natural disaster that devastated its campuses just a few years after its opening. But St. Michael's Academy persevered and today has grown to become the largest Catholic school in Western Massachusetts. Steve Kiltonic visited the campus and has this report. St. Michael's Academy opened August 31st, 2009, as reported on Real to Real's Back to School special. We hope your summer was a restful one. We do, but people around here were not getting much rest at all. The construction crews were busy transforming an unused wing of Cathedral High School into St. Michael's Middle Campus, the former Holy Cross School into the elementary campus, and a former convent on Wendover Road into the preschool Discovery Center. At the three St. Michael's Academy campuses, the year started with staggered openings for the 800-plus pre-K to 8th grade students. The academy was established earlier that year with the merging of the diocese's five parish legacy elementary schools, Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, Holy Cross, Holy Name, and Our Lady of Hope. After nearly two full academic years, students and faculty were still settling in when everything changed on June 1, 2011. No one was prepared for the EF3 tornado, which struck Springfield with winds of 160 miles per hour as it crossed the Connecticut River. Carving a path through the city and surrounding towns, the tornado damaged many homes and businesses, devastating the middle school campus at Cathedral High and the pre-K across the street. Although there were some teachers and students inside both schools when the tornado hit in the late afternoon, miraculously, no one was hurt. Bishop Timothy McDonald was on the scene shortly after the tornado passed. After the initial shock, Bishop McDonald and diocesan school officials gathered to announce plans for the recovery efforts and immediate future. After the tornado, all three academy campuses united under one roof at the Holy Cross Middle School on Eddywood Street, which has remained its home ever since. Over the past eight years, St. Michael's Academy has remained a viable and engaging environment for learning. That legacy was celebrated on September 29th, the Feast of St. Michael the Archangel, with a special mass held at Holy Cross Church to commemorate the Academy's 10th anniversary. It was a packed house as Springfield Bishop Mitchell Rodzanski concelebrated the mass with Father David Darcy, pastor of Holy Cross, along with several other priests and deacons. The mass began on the altar where the entire student body gathered to sing Everyday God. During the opening procession, three historical items were presented. Sister Andrea Suzuki, the diocesan superintendent when the academy opened, carried a schoolhouse image signifying the 14 original Springfield Catholic Elementary Schools. A copy of the five-year strategic plan was presented by its chair, Josephine Rodriguez. And St. Michael's Academy's first annual report was placed on the altar by C. Brian McDonald, the chairman of the Board of Trustees. Ann Dougal has been principal of St. Michael's Academy since 2010. After the tornado, the Academy put together its first strategic plan, Ignite and Achieve Excellence 2017. Over 80 people, including faculty, board members, parents, and parish community, gave their input on academics, Catholic identity, facilities, finance, technology, and student life. It has proven to be a roadmap for us. It was a five-year strategic plan. It helped us right out of the block. We started an admissions and an advancement position at our school. And uh, um, that you know, started to concentrate on reaching out to the community, uh, getting people involved. We started the Fund for St. Michael's Academy. We're able to purchase smart boards for each one of our classrooms, laptops for our teachers. So really strengthen that part of the curriculum. A main objective of the plan was to re-energize the school and keep Catholic education alive in Springfield. I always tell the kids we have no dead weight at St. Michael's Academy. Everybody needs to do their part. You know, the teachers work hard, the students work hard, the administration works hard, our parents work hard. Although the school has undergone dramatic change and growing pains during its 10-year existence, the mission has remained the same. We're working to educate children in, um, in a Christ-centered environment where they learn to have a relationship with God while delivering a rigorous academic program. 
and we're educating the whole child. Faith has always been a strong component of Catholic education, and at St. Michael's, God is at the center. In Cameron Warbington's second grade, prayer begins each class. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love entrusts me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide, amen. From the time that they come in in the morning to the time they leave, um, we're constantly talking about our faith, um, constantly um, asking them to make good choices. At St. Michael's, the student body reflects Springfield's diverse culture. We have you know, all sorts of children who come here of different ethnic backgrounds. We feel it's a strength in our building that these children are sitting side by side. They're learning about different cultures. In addition to strong academics, St. Michael's offers enrichment programs in music and the arts. As a result of its partnership with the Community Music School, there's a drumming program for third graders, which culminates with a performance for parents. We've also started a violin program for our second graders. Um, there's a group that practices every throughout the year. In addition, students in each grade invite their grandparents to school to experience various events and activities throughout the year. The buddy program matches fourth graders with first graders. Each pair works together on fun activities. It's just a nice way um, for our older kids to be good models for the younger kids, to teach our older kids responsibility for the younger kids. And, um, you know, they really enjoy it. One of the big fundraisers is the annual Walkathon. So the kids will go out and get pledges and donations to help support our school. And then in the morning on Friday, our kids each have about a half hour. They walk outside and do laps around the buildings. A lot of parents will take time off from work just to help line the road, cheer the kids along. Joy Nicolello is a sixth grade ELA, grammar and literature teacher. She's been at St. Michael's for five years. Joey's in charge of the student council. She instills in her students the need to give back to the community. When there is a natural disaster, the student council kids do want to get together. You know, we should do something. We should raise money for people who were hurt by the hurricane or they, they do feel that they need to help others. And we raise money so that we can help the Gray House, that we can help the rescue mission of Springfield. Karen Warbington has been at St. Michael's since its founding. St. Michael's is a wonderful place to be. You know, I look forward to coming into work every day. Um, it's a, the, we have great faculty, staff, the students. Um, it's very, um, just a very happy, joyful place, um, very family oriented. Some recent graduates returned for the anniversary mass. At the reception, they spoke about their St. Michael's experience. Emma Feely graduated in 2017. It definitely made me the person I am today and it absolutely brought me closer to God while doing that and prepared me for high school as well. And I think the people here care about your education and they care about your well-being and they're all very welcoming. Sarah Zalai spent her elementary and middle school years at St. Michael's. In 2017, she appeared on Real to Real as a co-host giving a tour of the school. This place has really been like one big family for me. Um, everyone is just so connected and it's really a great place to be. All of the teachers and everybody here is always so caring, uh, so they always make sure that you're learning and they're always willing to extend the extra helping hand to you. Since the day I first walked into this building, I have felt the presence of Jesus in me the whole time. And I feel like my relationship between myself and God has grown ever since that first day. This past year, St. Michael's lost a beloved faculty member, Sister Ruth Virginia Quinn. Sister Quinn started to volunteer at the middle campus in 2009. She tutored one-on-one -on -one or in small groups. But she was also our number one cheerleader. She would show up for every event that we had all the time. And she was always there cheering the children on, you know, eternally grateful for her and the part that she played in really moving the mission along and getting the mission out to others. The 10th anniversary year is being celebrated through three events. In addition to the anniversary mass, in June, a cornhole tournament was held at nearby Nathanville Park. It was a new event, so we didn't have enormous amounts of crowds, but we had a nice healthy group of people, some alumni, some parents, some current students, some friends of St. Michael's Academy, and we had a fun time over there. The third and concluding event takes place on October 26th with the anniversary gala. As for the future, Anne is confident St. Michael's will continue to grow and prosper. We'd like to be completely filled to capacity because we have an education to offer and we know that every child who comes th through here 
is touched by that and grows from that. In his concluding remarks, Bishop Rosansky expressed his wish for the current and future graduates of St. Michael's Academy. Let us ask God to continue to bless us that in the Catholic education received here, our students may be change agents in our society and in our world, taking what they have learned here and bringing it out beyond the walls of St. Michael's Academy. St. Michael, we stand together with you. St. Michael, we stand together with you. For Real to Real, I'm Steve Kiltonic.